I get to do some pretty awesome things in this job, but I think today might be a top five moment because we're in Hollywood at Sony's production lot. And in that building behind me, that's where the motion capture for Uncharted is being done. Today, an actual scene from Uncharted 3 is going to be filmed with Mr. Nathan Drake himself, Nolan North, inside. After two blockbuster outings on PlayStation 3, Nathan Drake is now firmly established amongst gaming's A-list. He's an everyman action hero, a Harrison Ford, Bruce Willis or even Cary Grant upon the digital stage. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? And this November, he stars in his biggest adventure yet, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. I got your back! Hurry! But while this 30,000 polygon performer might be the one you recognise, it's the guy whose face you don't see that truly brings him to life. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. When you watch your body movements and everything die repeatedly, <laughs> <laughs> it becomes so disconcerting. Nolan North is a video games veteran with scores of roles under his belt besides Drake, most notably Desmond Miles in Assassin's Creed and the titular star of Prince of Persia. Ezio and the villagers. After the attack, I can see them now. Today, North is joined by fellow cast member Richard McGonagall, who provides the world-weary voice to Victor Sullivan, Drake's old friend. Hey, 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 jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. I'm still amazed at what these guys do. Like we were saying before, these guys are the geniuses. We're just, you know, the meat puppets who come in and do what we're supposed to do and say some lines. And these guys put together this amazing uh, world. But we've not traveled all this way to Hollywood just to chat. Today, we get to see how, as they like to say in these parts, the magic happens. What we're seeing today is a live recording of an actual cutscene from Uncharted 3. And for that to happen, we need a set. After the cartoon capers of Crash Bandicoot and Jack and Daxter, US studio Naughty Dog has, with the Uncharted series, established itself as one of gaming's great storytellers. The secret to this success, claims the studio, is that they spend longer working with cast and crew than other games and the very real professional bonds forged translate into the chemistry we see between right. characters on screen. Don't touch the button. This one? <laughs> if you cast hastily or badly, you're screwed forever. And if you cast well, it's smooth sailing. You know, you can write any piece of crap and they'll make it sound wonderful. Trust me, I've done it. Uh, <laughs> our process is really much more like being regulars on a, on a television series than it is shooting most games because uh, uh, we're Thank in goodness. here... Except we like each other. <laughs> and in truth, it's probably not easy to be a diva on set when you're wrapped in a skin-tight rubber suit. There they are. There they are. Wow. Talk about uh, yes. Thank you. Oh, what did you Thank start you. that for? It's a one-off. <laughs> Isn't there custom-made oh, custom-made. Now, yes, now. I know, you all wish you had one. <laughs> Plus, even the most famous games actors enjoy an anonymity not afforded to movie stars. When you're out and about, do you ever get voice recognized? You know what? Yes. Uh, I never thought that would happen, but I, uh, I was actually at a, uh, uh, just a, one of our, like, I think it's called Best Buy store, and I was picking something up for my son, and. And we're talking to this guy about uh, an eye touch for my, my, my little boy because his broke and I wanted to see if they could fix it. And we're talking and he just keeps looking at me and he says, do you do, you do voice work at all or anything? And I just happened to look to my left and there was, uh, you know, the boxes of Uncharted. I said, do you, do you play games? He goes, you're Nathan Drake. I mean, it was, uh, it's, it's strange. Motion capture, it rather goes without saying, is a complicated business. Before anything can be recorded, actors need to be calibrated. And so North and McGonagall come over all workout DVD as a team of techies analyzes their every move. While many games keep dialogue and motion capture separate, for Naughty Dog the real value is in the full performance. 95% of the dialogue you're hearing in the game during the cutscenes is recorded right here. It's not overdubbed in any way. And that was a big that was the 
a change that we made from Uncharted 1 to Uncharted 2. In Uncharted 1, we overdubbed every single line of dialogue because we were working in an airplane hangar with we had terrible acoustics. <laughs> and now for Uncharted 3, we have better mics, we have a much better sounding room, and uh, it's, it's, we're just continuing to like hone in and refine the process. And that means, while the facial capture technique used in Rockstar's L.A. Noir, for instance, looks amazing, it wouldn't work for Uncharted. To get that stuff, you basically have to sit the actor down in a chair in this room, have him not move, uh, and speak all of his lines directly straight ahead into the camera. And the thing is with that is that they also have to like do all the body capture completely separately on a different day, probably from a different person too. Mm -hmm. and, and, so, the, and the act, the characters have to look exactly like your actors. There's yet more calibration required for the set itself. In this case, a Jeep traveling through a French forest. And a simple version of how it will look in game is displayed with the actors on a screen in real time, allowing the production team to perfect the camera angles. Right there is our tree branch that uh, Sully ducks underneath. Front corner of the hood, Matt. The, uh, the punching bag on the floor there is our uh, log that uh, Drake steps over. Like uh, Amy was saying earlier, we try really hard to like add stuff to the environment that they can interact with so it doesn't just seem like they're two people standing in a conveniently empty part of the world. A few choice words of instruction from the director, and finally, it's time for action. All right, audio. Camera. T-Pose for me, gentlemen, and marker. Marker. Floor's yours. Thank you. <coughs> and action. You did bring the map, right? I thought you brought the map. Oh, for Christ. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I got it. Yeah, we should be close, too. Oh, what the hell is this? Uh-huh. Don't. Looks like we're going by foot from here. <laughs> Jesus. What? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> yeah, well, looks like we're headed the right direction. Chateau should be this way. You sure? Yeah. Come on. Not too far. Before. And cut. Filming takes roughly a year with one or two scenes done per week. And this means the script itself has time to evolve during development and leave space for some ad libbing. Action! Oh, she had a wooden leg with a real foot. Strangest thing I've ever seen. You can pick them. You do know where you're going, right? No idea, actually. Lost my bearings hours ago. <laughs> Come on, I'm kidding, right? We're close. I mean, they know each other so well. They're friends. Everybody on the cast are friends. I mean, everybody on the, the crew are friends with the cast. And so there's, a ver there's an ease of uh, communication. And I think which makes it, that makes us all feel free to, you know, constructively critique each other's work and try to improve it and improve it. And nobody's egos get stepped on, you know what I mean? And that's the perfect place to be for what we do. The two of us and, and most everybody else that works on this thing is, is pretty gregarious people. And uh, we like people and we like to play. And uh, so we just get along really well. He's the one who helps rein us in. I mean, as a director, I, I've, I've said this before about the specifics of when you're doing certain things. And because there's so much space, he's the one who helps us really focus in on the touch points, the things that are important, and then the actual, the actual acting part, because you know sometimes you know we actors will get oh, okay I'm doing this thing and he's the one who just will look at that, and and just bring it right down to where it needs to be. The scene we see performed is chosen very deliberately so as not to reveal any major plot spoilers, and though November has never seemed further away, we wouldn't want it any other way. There's some new stuff definitely, and some new twists and turns and. Uh, uh, you'll, you'll learn some new things uh, about all of us. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I think my script when I was done last time was 200 something pages, and I'm I'm like 120 right now, something like that. So I mean, that kind of gives you a a ballpark. It, it, I, I seem to be hitting about the same number of minutes for the cinematics, probably to everyone's chagrin, but I can't help it. <laughs> 
Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception is out exclusively on PlayStation 3 this November.